First of all, Tom, registration's just come through. Your boots are here. You fancy a game? Uh, I think I'll leave it to the boys who uh, have been training. And uh, to ask, I've not been to the gym since I've retired, so I actually think I'll snap like a twig, even more so than when I, when I played. European game then, you know exactly what the lads are going through 24 hours before kickoff. How does the build up change in a European week? I mean, it's always, you try and say you know, it's, it's, it's just another game. Um, obviously, being European obviously gives that a little bit more excitement, a little bit more pressure. Um, you've got to start well in Europe. You know, teams that have gone to win it have started well, continue that form throughout the pool stages, and then obviously build it as they go. So, you know, t tomorrow is crucial in terms of getting a good start. It's a tough place to go and play. Let's face it, we've had uh, some pretty large hammerings here in the past. And uh, yeah, although Ulster haven't had the best form so far this season, the team seems to turn up when they play Leicester and uh, yeah, the boys will be in for a challenge tomorrow. You're getting to watch a lot more rugby, you said, now that you don't have to do your homework on Tigers lineouts and uh, scrums and set plays. Um, those European weekends, one of the features is watching games Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You must be looking to have a, a full weekend of rugby as well. Uh, let's not get carried away. Um, I'll probably watch a little bit more rugby than I did when I was playing. Um, I didn't watch a huge amount when I was playing, so watching one game is probably better than when, when I was playing. So, um, no, I see it's, it's great to be over here. It's great to be with the boys, catch up with them in, in the airport. You know, there's a lot of them I've not seen since I've retired. Uh, I'll see other guys it's nice to catch up with. So it's just nice to be in amongst it. It was sort of surreal coming to the hotel with the, with the sponsors and the, and the corporate team today. Sort of, yeah, I'll say a little bit surreal. You know, you're turning up where the games will be played tomorrow, you sort of get that you know, flutter of nerves, um, which be, I'll say, will be remedied when you actually let me go and have a beer, which was the plan when I came downstairs. <laughs> Were you a nervous player the day before a game, or do you try to switch off the day before a game? Ah, jeez, I was a nervous player, sort of Wednesday onwards. Uh, I think as my career went on, um, the nerves sort of settled down a bit. But no, it was always until you got onto that pitch, the nerves would uh, would be at you, especially the morning of the game. You know, some of those young lads, Jordan Oliver Feller, for example, you know, a massive prospect, and I'm sure he'll be a, a touch nervous tomorrow. But you know, nerves are a good thing. Nerves make you perform. Nerves mean you care. And your own experience in Europe, the 2009 final must be a standout moment of the progress to the final. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously uh, the uh, the semi final in Cardiff, which went to kicks. Um, thankfully, Craner took his kick. Otherwise, I think it was down to me or Whitey, which was uh, was never a guarantee. Um, and then obviously the final, you know, it was it was disappointing. Sort of, like I said, we started well in the group stages. We improved as we went, and we just fell short up in Edinburgh against Leinster. So you know, it's always one that will stick in mind as the almost. Um, but always be a great memory. And uh, I say, hope the boys can kick on tomorrow and, uh, and create a new one.